everyone, this is the State of the Nation. Now, most in the middle income class in this nation are finding it difficult to get on with their day to day lives due to the high taxes imposed as per the recommendations by the IMF. The question we need to ask is whether is it fair to ask the middle income class of this country to foot the economic recovery bill? After all, they are not the ones who made erroneous economic policies in this nation in the past 75 years. So the leaders of our country still continues to enjoy the luxurious lifestyle that comes with their positions. But you and I are asked to cough up the money that we don't have in order to pay for the mistakes they made. Tax revenue increased 56% from 370 billion rupees to 578 billion rupees in the first quarter of this year, clearly showing how the government is squeezing the middle income class to create a budget surplus, which they actually achieved uh, for March of 2023. The increase came partly from tax hikes and partly from inflation. The total was slightly below um, the 650 billion rupees projected in the IMF program. Joining me now via Zoom all the way from Paris, France, is the General Secretary of Public Services International, Rosa Pavanelli. Public Services International is a global union federation of workers in um, the public services sector. It has been in operation since 1907 and is working with trade unions in over 154 countries. Ms. Pavanelli, thank you very much for taking the time to um, speak to us. Really appreciate it. Now, Sri Lanka has got into a program with the IMF, which you already know, and they are requesting high taxes to cover the budget deficit. Now, they are not taxing the rich, they are taxing the middle income class of this country. It has adverse effect as of now. What exactly, uh, Ms. Pavanelli, is your view on this? Should the working class pay the price for the erroneous policies implemented by the government and more so help the rich? Thank you, Mahish, for your questions and for your invitation. Uh, PSI, along with its affiliates around the world, has been fighting for many, many years for tax justice. That means exactly taxing the rich and taxing uh, multinational corporates. Uh, we propose a tax, uh, a global minimum tax at 25%. And uh, this what should be everywhere in the world, particularly in a situation of crisis such as this one of, uh, of uh, Sri Lanka. We think that the, it's time to tax the rich, uh, to stop the illicit flow out of the country uh, that has been ongoing uh, for many years uh, and uh, introduced a progressive taxation that uh, cannot put all the burden on, uh, on workers. But there's also the need to restructure uh, the debt, the, the debt of the country. And this is something very much needed in a crisis such as this one that uh, Sri Lanka is uh, ongoing. Absolutely. Uh, Ms. Pavanelli, as you clearly mentioned, this issue where the working class is getting uh, pressured is happening worldwide. This is the trend. Uh, if you look at uh, what's happening in France and the UK, this situation is similar. Uh, what is your advice to the working class who's getting used by the wealthy uh, parties left, right and center? Well, there are different situations there. Uh, because while in France, uh, the issue is uh, the reform of the pension system, uh, in England, it can be considered similar because it's an attack uh, on uh, public services from one hand and an attack on the right to strike, exactly as it happened already in Sri Lanka. So altogether an attack on workers' rights and people's rights, because when you reduce, you cut public services, you cut fundamental rights, human rights for people. Uh, this is the result of uh, a neoliberal policies that has been ongoing globally for decades. And it's coming now at the very point of a breakout because uh, uh, after the pandemic, the economic crisis, the energy crisis and the climate crisis that we are all in are multiplying uh, the impact 
of uh, neoliberal policies on working people and in particular uh, on public services. And this is uh, something uh, that we are trying to counter with proposals uh, that aim to uh, invest more in public services, invest in green jobs, invest in services that can ensure a human right and lift po uh, people out of poverty according to the SDG uh, programs of the United Nations. Absolutely, neoliberal policies don't work for the working class worldwide. That was uh, on point. Uh, Ms. Mavanelli, finally, in Sri Lanka's case, what do you think the working class should be doing right now? After all, we are in the thickened uh, economic crisis. Many are saying that issues might pop up as we move along. So what should the working class be doing right now? Well, I think that uh, the uh, protests uh, that uh, we saw in the past uh, in the past weeks in Sri Lanka are something that is very much needed, not only because government has to hear the voice of workers, but also public opinion and internationally uh, they should be heard. I think that we can help them uh, uh, for the part uh, of the work uh, of the activities that refer to to the cancellation of the right to strike uh, in the in the country uh, with the international organizations such as the ILO, but I also think that they need to be consistent with the global policies of the trade union movement, calling for tax justice, calling for. Uh, reduction or cancellation of the of debt, uh, and when I talk about cancellation or restructuring of the debt, I mean uh, by the private uh, uh, lenders uh, as well as uh, the financial institutions, as it has been uh, called also by eminent economists uh, such as uh, Jayati Ghosh, uh, Thomas Piketty. Uh, uh, and Domokwam uh, 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 Sundaram and Yanis Varoufakis, who was Minister of Finance when Greece was about uh, to, uh, to, on the verge of a bankruptcy, as well as it happens in, uh, in Sri Lanka. So we think that these are the key issues, uh, the key uh, claims uh, that had uh, to be advanced by the working class at global level, at, uh, at a national level. And of course, there's a responsibility of government that cannot be hidden. Absolutely. Um, well, we have to leave it at that. Thank you very much. That was the uh, General Secretary of the Public Services International, Rosa Pavanelli. Thank you. Now, a short break now when we return. The American agenda. Was the US ambassador the ringleader of last year's Aragalia? Stick around. This is the State of the Nation. Back in a moment. <laughs>